I think that's the thing we're trying to do. We keep saying we're trying to separate the man from the myth. Um, I didn't really know much about him. I didn't study Picasso at school. I just, I knew him, as I say, as a, someone on the pedestal. And it was really good to learn about the sort of the constellation of everyone circling the genius. And you know, as well, we, I was listening to, we were listening to Antonio talk about it earlier. And uh, he was saying his generation, when he grew up, um, he said General Franco, the fascist dictator of Spain, died when he was 15. You know, so I didn't, I didn't realize uh, um, Picasso's political importance, you know, until, until reading the scripts of the show and stuff. Because he was seen as a, 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 a sort of a, an icon of freedom, you know, so he had this re huge political significance to Spanish people because they were, you know, under this totalitarian state. So that was interesting to kind of, because the show really explores all of that stuff as well, you know. But he explored also Guernica is yeah. one of the most important paintings that he he painted. And it's really in response to the, the cowardly attack on this village. It's a real political statement. It's the first time art really became a political statement. And it was very, very important in, in its time. It was something that was very brave on the part of someone who was in exile uh, from a dictatorship. That's but what was, it was very moving, what, was, what Antonio was saying, that is that they adulated Picasso because mm. he was a symbol of freedom. He was in exile, he never came back to, to Spain, but it was just very moving to see how, yeah, how yeah, yeah. The, 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 the adulation for, for Picasso, for what he stood for, for freedom, for art, for, for, for he was a member of the Communist Party, so he, he represented everything that Franco, Franco was not. So he, that was really very moving to, to to, to hear Antonio talk about that. I love learning that Picasso didn't believe that art should decorate the walls of apartments. He, mm. he called art an offensive and defensive weapon and it should be used as such. And again, I didn't know that, so, yeah. Did you have a mic? Yeah, I also love, we got to go to uh, Malaga, Spain where both um, Picasso and Antonio are from uh, and do some press there. And we also got to see his personal collection, which were the paintings that he held on to and didn't sell because he wanted to hold on to them. Uh, and there were some incredible things there, uh, especially one of his sister um, that he painted, I think, when he was eight and she died a year or two later. And so he cherished that his whole life. And when you see it, it's done in the classical style and you just see this you know, genius eight-year-old. Um, but what I also loved was when you see his later work, um, he became very devoted to trying to paint like a child again, um, which I thought was really amazing, that, that he wished he was never taught any training of any you know, formal way of doing things because he just wanted to get back to that basic innocence that we all have inside of us. And I feel like he saw that as the genius in all of us, um, just that basic innocence and that purity um, of heart.